My guest today was able to go from being a quality analyst to getting her first job in the cloud industry right here in the UK. Some of the topics we're going to talk about include why she wanted to break into the cloud industry, what frustration she faced on her cloud journey, how she used the Cloud Career Mentor program to build the projects that employers are looking for, how she was able to interview in a way that impressed hiring managers, and what life is like now that she's a cloud engineer. I'm really excited for you to hear this because I want you to know that it's possible for you to break into the cloud industry if you build the right projects. If you want to follow the same program that she used to break into the industry, then sign up at cloudcareermentor.com. All right, let's jump into the conversation. Hello, Sojanya. Welcome to the show. I'm really excited for you to share your journey with us. I know your journey into the cloud took a lot of twists and turns, and I think the listeners will really appreciate your, your journey. So thanks for coming on. So now you're in the cloud industry. The first question I have for you is, what's your current job title and what are some day-to-day responsibilities you do? Okay, so currently I'm working as a backend developer focusing on AWS and uh, I majorly work on creating and designing scalable architect solutions for our clients. So we'll be maintaining and implementing serverless architectures and automating the workflows to streamline their operations. So this kind of stuff is mostly in my job role. Wow, that sounds pretty pretty impressive. Um, so let's let's go back in time. You know, let's go back in time to I think like a year or two ago. What was your job title before you go into the cloud, and why did you decide to focus on the cloud? Prior to this, I worked as a quality analyst for a year, and uh, so I used to create test environment. I used to test the web applications and stuff. So after a time, you know, I wasn't so interested and it wasn't challenging for me. So then I moved to another career. I started looking for fresh options, which are more challenging and interesting and uh, particularly booming in the industry, uh, you know, that have more jobs in the industry and have a great future. So that's when I got into AWS and I started learning initially online and uh, it was it was interesting for me to get into the cloud industry, so that's how my transition happened, and I started to learn all the technologies and do that. Yeah, so I think this is a really interesting point because you know this stage is probably where a lot of people are, so they know they want to get into the cloud, but they they don't really know what to do. So it'd be interesting to paint a picture of you know think of yourself back when you were started learning. Uh, like, what did you do um, to try and break in? So before you found Car- Cloud Career Mentor, what did you do and what were the results of that? So initially, I started just learning online and uh, trying to get all the resources from the channels that were available. But I didn't think that was enough for me to get into the industry. So I wanted to get a job and proper structure of how to learn everything because AWS is a wide array of subjects are available in that and I didn't know what to pursue exactly in that. So I went through a boot camp so where I got my AWS uh, practitioner initially and then I did my Solutions Architect Associate certifications. So they initially told me that it would help me in my career to pursue a job in that and they would uh, create opportunities in that as well. So that's how I started doing my certifications, but that was more later on. I got to know that that was more uh, certifications oriented and not job oriented. So after completing my certifications, I didn't know how to move further. So that's when I felt a bit stuck and I've started again looking for other opportunities and applying for more jobs, but uh, wasn't getting any replies. So that's when I stumbled upon the Cloud Career Mentor uh, on LinkedIn. So uh, that was more project oriented and uh, helped my CV get better and everything. So that's Yeah, no, I think 
I really want to stay in sort of that zone you were because, you know, you took a boot camp, you know, they told you that, yeah, certifications will, will help you get a cloud job. And so you did your certifications, you passed them, but you, you found that after you did that, you know, you're still applying for jobs and you were getting no response. And, you know, I remember when we spoke initially, you know, back then, you, you know, I, I could tell that you, you felt quite frustrated and quite sad and, you know, you, you were just applying and got no response. And I feel like a lot of people feel like that, you know, they've probably done something similar and, you know, they're really frustrated because they feel like, oh, there are no entry cloud jobs available and, and all of that. So maybe can you dig into a bit how you felt at the time? Yeah. So after I completed my certifications for a while, I did some projects from the YouTube channels. Uh, I searched for the projects and I did them and put them on my CV and started sending them. But I wasn't getting any response. And I got to know that every individual is sending the same project that were available online on YouTube and stuff. So it wasn't standing out or anything. So I felt like I wanted more structured or more, you know, real time projects to have on my CV. So at that time, I didn't know how to do that, find the real time applications or what kind of projects would uh, grab the attention of the recruiter. So, yeah, it was kind of uh, depressing. Uh, I, I completed the certifications. I was of an impression that that's enough to get a entry-level job, but that wasn't the case at all. And every entry-level job, they were asking for experience and a lot of things. So, yeah, that was quite a frustrating time until then. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I imagine a lot of people are nodding along at home now. So, you know, you, you tried a bootcamp, no success. I'm sure you got your certifications, but your ultimate goal was to change careers. So what convinced you to give Cloud Career Mentor a try? Yeah. So, you know, I really like the structure of the program. It was more job oriented, how to prepare an individual to Ultimately, all of us are doing these certifications or anything to get a job. I found that all the projects and everything were more job oriented and the videos that were recorded, everything, the bash scripting, all the languages, they were all new to me. I did not get any chance of learning that in the boot camp. It was just exam and certification oriented. So that really helped me and uh, the boot camps were really expensive. So I thought that they're offering so many things in, at the beginning and promise to get us jobs and everything. So, but that was not the case. So when you, when I stumbled upon you, it wasn't any money, any anything for money or uh, other cases. You were genuinely interested. You were one of the AWS solutions architects. So that inspired me and uh, I really wanted someone to mentor me and guide me through that path. So I felt like you were the right person. Uh, and uh, I can, after talking to you, I got a confidence that I can trust you and uh, go through that. You would help me in achieving my goal. So that's why I took the chance. Thanks. I really appreciate you saying that because I think there's so many shall we say programs that aren't really designed to help people exactly. and with what i'm doing my, my priority is to really help people break into the cloud industry so a, a question i have for you actually so you join the program and you start putting in the work what did you find surprising about sort of what you're learning in the program in terms of you know the projects or how difficult they were or maybe how easy they were so what did you find sort of different to maybe what you were expecting before you, you signed up? So the videos and uh, the courses and the uh, languages, they were all very detailed. And I like how they were updated prior to, you know, so that any individual can take their time and really get into the process and uh, understand in their own way. It's not like online uh, recording like this. So we, I took my time to understand everything and it gave me some time to process in my own way. So I also like the community that you had so that all the people who are 
currently trying to get into the AWS industry. They all collaborated and uh, you even had some meetings together to discuss the projects and if we are stuck somewhere. So we had some group to, you know, push everyone together and uh, debug together. So that was really interesting. That that really helped me a lot. Yeah, no, thanks. And, and I have to say as well, like I was so impressed with how much work you put in because obviously I can see the analytics of the program. So I can see who's putting in the work and who isn't. And I, I was so impressed by your enthusiasm in terms of how you were learning and you were, you were troubleshooting and figuring things out because that's what you need to be successful. So well done on yeah. that. So after the boot camp, I really felt like uh, I was alone in the process. I didn't know where to go and if there's anyone in this journey like me. So after connecting with you i found a lot of people that were in the same path and uh, they were also facing the same problems like me so i felt a bit okay i have some people to <laughs> you know everyone's going through the same journey so we just need to put in some effort and if we try we can get reach our goals i found that confidence from this program now that's that's really good to hear because yeah i need to it encourages me to keep keep that going, that community going. So, you know, that's great. You go for the program. I'm very curious about your job application process. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once you once you get through the program, you you updated your C V, your resume. I remember you sent it to me. I reviewed it, gave some feedback. So I'd love to know what your job application for like were you applying for like 20 jobs a day were you only applying for one job a month like talk us through your job application process no, i think i applied like 10 to 15 jobs a day like you said but i wasn't so after the boot camp i started applying daily i sat down and i used to apply for every job and uh, but I later on realized that, you know, after the boot camp, I didn't have many projects on my CV uh, because as I'm applying to AWS roles, I need to have some projects on that. Only then I could have some attention. I only had my previous job roles and everything. So after joining here, I got those projects, which were really important for this, for these roles. And uh, after I updated my CV, I talked to you and uh, we went through the CV together and after updating the projects we've done together. So that really helped. And I must say that those projects were the things that grabbed my uh, boss's attention right now as well. That's the reason why he told me specifically the projects were really interesting. So those are the things that really clicked on. That's a really valuable point. So you're saying that the job you got, exactly. the hiring manager told you that the projects you did from the program yeah. are what got his attention. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Mm. That's, that's really good to know because I designed all the projects based on things I've done in my career. Mm -hmm. And these are things that employers are always looking for. So if you can demonstrate them, then, you know, they'll be happy with you. Do you remember... So, you know, you start applying for jobs, 10 jobs a day, which which is what I recommend, by the way. I'm, like, you need to apply for as many jobs as possible every day. Yeah. But obviously, before you do that, just like you mentioned, you have to have the projects because you could apply for all the jobs in the world. But if you don't have the projects to back them up, yeah. then nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So you followed, you followed the playbook perfectly. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you started getting interviews? And because I know we had some mock interview sessions, like how did that help in your interview yeah. interviewing yeah the mock interviews really helped uh, to build my confidence up the guidance really helped me because uh, the cloud industry as i said is really vast and uh, the structured learning path and what topics to cover what essential topics to cover and what skills to build on so all of these in the in a logical order it really helped my learning curve. And those were the points that helped me through my interviews as well. So yeah, the structured learning path was really helpful for my journey. Yeah. I'm really glad to hear that you, you got a ton of value. So the final question I have for you is that if someone's listening now and they're considering joining the program, but they're not sure they're a bit on the fence, what what would you tell them? What advice would you give them? Should they join? Should they not join? Oh, they should definitely join because 
not just saying it because uh, but getting an expert guidance who is in the same field for the past like their entire entire career has been in that field and getting some guidance from an expert like that and uh, building the opportunities and networking around him you are also you also have a community that has people in that same career so that will build us a lot of networking opportunities and uh, i've initially researched the program and what all you are providing for us to learn from anyone who's you know in pursuing this career they can research the program and consider their career goals and how the program aligns with them check all of those things and they should take that leap yeah i can ensure if they take the leap <laughs> it will really help in their career and they'll grow fast yeah thanks i appreciate that and if you're at home wondering what the program is just go to cloudcareermentor.com and all the details are there so Janya, thanks a lot for coming on. I'm so proud of what you've achieved and I'm sure in a year's time or so, we're going to have you on again to talk about, you know, how you've progressed in your journey because sure, I think it'll sure. be good to, to to keep the conversation going and just show people what's possible in, in the industry. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Thank you for having me and uh, letting me share my journey. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.